after Michael Jackson. Drake is the greatest musician to ever grace the mic. Do you agree with that? Yeah or nay? Please, the comment section is open for you to drop a comment. What's up, guys? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this wonderful channel from. This is John Gillis Entertainment. He will give you hundreds of all the trends for the happenings in Nigeria, Africa, and globally. If you are new here, please be kind enough to please subscribe to the and the bell icon so as to be notified whenever we upload hot new trends. Whiskey is trending. Big ups and congratulations to Whiskey. And we shouldn't forget the song Whiskey did with Drake, the one dance song. That song has earned Whiskey loss of awards. We have this good news that one dance featuring Whiskey, Ayo, and at uh, Kyla Official is now certified diamond in the United States for sales of 10 million plus units. Wow. And Whiskey is the first Nigerian artist to score a diamond certified song in the country. Big ups, big ups and congratulations to Whiskey, big ups and congratulations to Jake. Not only that, still talking about the, the song, the wonder song that at Whiskey Dial has earned his first ever at RIAA Diamond Singles in the United States of America. And at Whiskey Dial became the first Nigerian artist with a diamond single in the United States. Big ups to the Machala himself. The Whiskey has been doing numbers. Machala has been doing numbers. He's been doing great, great numbers. He's been taking Afrobeats to the next level. Still talking about the song One Dance, you know, Whiskey and Drake. You know, they'll be doing good songs together. Yeah, they've, they've done about two songs together. If you remember, Drake featured Whiskey and Whiskey also featured Drake. Still talking about the song One Dance, let us do a little analysis. That Drake, the title of the song is One Dance featuring Whiskey and Kyla. Certification date it was on the 8th of December 2022. The label Young Money Cash Money Republic record. The format of the song is a single, and we should remember the song was released. The release date of the song was 29th of April 2026. Category none, type digital, certified unit 10 million. The genre is RB and hip hop. Previous certification 10 times multi, 10 times multi. Platinum rather on the 8th of December 2022. Eight times multi platinum on September 25th, 2019. Seven times multi platinum on the 29th of June 2018. Six times multi platinum on the 29th of June 2018. Five times multi platinum on the 29th of June 2018. Four times multi platinum on the 1st of September 2016. Three times multi platinum on the 1st of September 2016. And two times multi platinum. On the first of September 2016, and platinum on the first of September 2016, and gold on the first of September 2016. Wow, big ups, big and congratulations to Whiskey. And, and you know, netizens have been dropping in so many comments congratulating Whiskey. Whiskey really deserves it. He has worked a lot, he has worked for, for it. And we know he just released his album, More Love, Less Ego. And from the desk of Whiskey, he says something about releasing another album, that new album. Sealess spelled S E I L E S S. We can't wait fluidly. We have this news that Nigerian singer Whiskey Tampona Boy recently stirred up conversations online as both artists are said to make Afrobeat history. Though Whiskey would get to do it first, both singers are said to become the first African artist to headline a show with an audience of over 80,000 in the United Kingdom and Europe. Some reacted to, to the feats, saying 20,000 for Niger safe heart. They say one can't do 80,000 for the UK. Hmm. They deserve double salute. Yeah, Bonaboy and Whiskey deserve double salute indeed. And this is bold that Whiskey and Bonaboy are the first African artists to headline 80,000 show in the United Kingdom and Europe. Hmm. That's a great one. Still talking about the Udogun said Bonaboy, you know, Bonaboy came out and Came up and told us he's the giant of Africa. Some netizens were criticizing him, saying Bonaboy is proud, is this, is that, but that is Bonaboy's style. Yeah, uh, that is his style. He's been doing very well. We know he has, he's won a Grammy Award and he's been nominated for two Grammy Awards for the 2023 Grammy Award alongside Thames. Thames to got two Grammy nominations. We have this news that from Bloomberg that Bonaboy's April show at Madison Square Garden crossed about 1.6 million dollar in ticket sales that is a huge one that according to our bloomberg business at uh, bonaboy's uh, 
um, the Bonaboy Grams April show at Madison Square got engrossed about $1.8 million in ticket sales. These guys have been doing numbers. I mean, they've been selling shows overseas. And from what netizens say, you know, these guys cannot just come to Nigeria as, and, 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 you know, shut down arenas like that. It's not easy because of the you know, insecurity situations we have in the country. Though we they have so many fans. Bonaboy has so many fans in Nigeria. But he has more fans outside Nigeria than in Nigeria. But we skipped eh? Whiskey FC. Everybody's scared of Whiskey FC. Those guys are, are superb. They are, I mean, supporting the Machala himself back to back. Still talking about Whiskey album, uh, Silas, that the Grammy Award winning singer Whiskey steers reaction as he announces the, anticip the anticipation for the release of a new album soon. You know, we are not done. We've not gotten a, enough of his album, More Love, Less Ego. Than it that it will be recorded that the singer had earlier hinted at featuring an unexpected singer on his forthcoming album. This, however, foiled the speculation of having the video on his sixth studio album following the release of Mo Love Less Ego Song Weeks Ago. Yeah, I dropped that in, in one of my videos where Whiskey said something about featuring someone, people you know, to think of as his uh, enemy. You know, so many netizens out there have been looking at the video as whiskey telling that because they don't flow. They've never done anything uh, to, to, like uh, together. They've never worked on a project together. Though they've been on stage, you know, performing together, but they have never featured each other. We've seen uh, whiskey featuring Bonaboy. Uh, yes, Bonaboy, but he hasn't done a song with uh, the video. And whiskey came up recently and said he'll be featuring someone who people look at as his enemy. So, and Whiskey has said he'll be releasing his, his album, Silos, very soon. So, yeah, that the video will be on it. Speculations as Whiskey announces his new album. We can't wait for that album to be released. And we can't wait to see Whiskey and the video doing a song together. Talking about singer, the video, the video has been going through a lot. He's been going through a lot. Yeah, he lost his son. He found into the programs of dead few a few weeks ago and well so, talking about that for the desk of uh, Luji he dropped this message that whenever a video is offline you literally feel his absence pray for you always brother well that came from the desk of artist Luji he's praying for his colleague the video because the video has been offline for quite some time yeah and people felt it well see Talking about singer, the video, we have this good news. Good news in this. We know the FIFA World Cup is ongoing right now. Someone dropped this message that so happy my brother as the video confirmed he will be performing at the World Cup Qatar closing ceremony. Can't wait to see him there. Wow. It will be a big one because so many netizens globally, the video's fans globally have been waiting to see the video. You know, since he lost his son, he finished the cohorts of there. So we can't wait for that. We can't wait to see the video performing at the closing ceremony of the um, FIFA World Cup happening in in Qatar this 2022. Still talking about uh, Nigerian musicians, we have so many of them. They've been doing very well. Afrobeat musician polishing Nigeria's image on the world map, pushing entertainment to where it is. From what we can say, the little that's selling in this country, what is giving Nigerians joy. The things that are giving Nigeria joy. One is entertainment. Our entertainers are doing very well. Actors, movie uh, actors, musicians, the comedians, and our IT guys are doing very well too. Still talking about the Afrobeat musician, Oslet is the most searched artist on Google in Nigeria in 2022. Isn't that great? Google has released the year end list for 2022, and Afrobeat star Oslet has emerged the most goggled artist in the year 2022. Wow. Osley has enjoyed a great 2022 with his hit single, Colossa. Enjoy impressive success across Europe and America after being propelled by TikTok. This has seen, this rather has seen Osley emerge as the most goggled artist in Nigeria in 2022 as millions of people wanted to know the artist behind the hit singles kudos and congratulations to uh to us well and still talking about that that 
on the list we have um Oslet, we have asake uh, number two we have black sheriff number three we have portable like seriously number four we have lil tg as number five we have ruga as number six buju as number seven angelic kujo and number eight and tj yk as number nine wow big ups and congratulations to us late and big ups to all the nigerian artists or all the afrobeat artists who made it on this list you guys have been doing very well still talking about the entertainers this is not a good news anywhere from the death of icpc there's this drama going on between icpc and the batch that I, I, that it, there was this news that I made that uh, the bands had arrested by ICPC. But for the desk of ICPC, they say we didn't arrest the bunch, that he honored our invitation. That independence, the independent corrupt practices and other related offenses commission on ICPC has broken in silence concerning singer the bunch arrest. It was earlier reported that ICPC moved to arrest the Afro pop star following several summons. The singer is being accused of fraudulently diverting hundreds of naira and marks by the Nigerian government for the N Power Project, an employment pro program set up by the Nigerian government in 2016 to address youth unemployment and increase social development. Well, when, when we got this news, so many people were dropping in messages that they never expected that from an Afrobeat pop star like the band. Well, we heard it from the desk of ICPC that the band only honored an invitation. As things grow, we'll give you updates. Well, let us move on to something else. Recently, I dropped this message about DJ Copy. It's a good news, actually, that she's been engaged to her British boxer. For the desk of DJ Copy should drop this message that my man is obsessed with me. Get yourself a man like that. Hmm. DJ Copy tells Nigerian ladies. And we should remember that she dropped the engage. DJ Copy, calm down. <laughs> calm down. Well, still talking about the love stories going on in the country. We have this news from the desk of Ned Nwoko, the husband to Regina Daniels. From the desk of Ned Nwoko, he said, Myself and only of a fair are serving Nigeria by marrying multiple wives. That came from the desk of Ned Nwoko. Like, seriously? So, so it's like Ned Nwoko is encouraging people to marry plenty of wives, like, uh, like himself and the only of a fair. Does that make sense? Or Nick, please, the comment section is open for you all to drop that comments. Let us move on to one of the hottest cross dressers in Nigeria, Bob Risky. Netizens react as Bob Risky laments of menstrual cramps. Like, seriously, what have we not heard in this country? Social media is a funny place. Controversial lifestyle influencer Bob Risky stares reaction as C laments the pain from his menstrual cramps. The cross dresser who recently threw shade at, the, at her act enemy, Rada Papaya, takes to Instagram to complain about his monthly cycle. Is it his or her? <laughs> but Risky, who was claimed to, to have gotten a gender realignment, sorry, to become a woman, fully leaves many fans hanging as he claims to be having menstrual cramps. In a post, he wrote, have been eating a lot, for, a lot of sugary things lately. Now, this cramp won't let me be. Hmm. Thank you for your desk of Bob Risky. Please, let's hear it. Yeah.